and welcome to the latest edition of Inside CBA. This month marks the third anniversary of the University of Nebraska-Lincoln's entry into the Big Ten Conference. It's also my third anniversary as Dean here at the College of Business Administration. I hope you can see that we've started something really big here at CBA. Everything here is amazing. I'm really excited to be on this campus. I'm part of the Big Ten UNL Cornhusker family. Well, it seems more like home and more like a family. We are now gearing up for another great fall semester. New students and their parents are on campus this month, enrolling for classes, and lots of them are following me on Twitter, and they're bringing great energy to the college. My son Alex is coming to UNL because of the proximity and closeness of the campus, along with the friendliness and all the wonderful people we've met as they have recruited and shown him this is a place he could probably excel. I'm most excited about our new CBA Honors Academy, which starts this fall. 45 students were selected from a rigorous application process, and they make up our first class. It's a program we've been planning for two years. These students will take their required business courses together as a cohort. They'll work on real-world problems provided by corporate clients, and they will develop solutions to those problems. I'm really excited about being the inaugural class because I know that students in the future will be looking up to us and I think everyone this year will be very understanding about us being the first class and we're kind of the guinea pigs so it's exciting to have all these new experiences. This fall we're celebrating 100 years of educating business leaders here at CBA and remembering those who started something a century ago. In 1913, the University Board of Regents created the School of Commerce which later became the College of Business. UNL was the first school west of the Mississippi River to formally establish a graduate school. Today, CBA is still the only PhD granting business school in Nebraska. CBA educated women before they even had the right to vote. And the college's first graduating class in 1919 included five women. Business Administration student Harry Pecka wrote Dear Old Nebraska U for a Nebraska Stunt Night program in 1923. It caught on as the Husker fight song and is still a part of school spirit today. This summer we're celebrating 25 years of CBA's most premier study abroad program, Nebraska at Oxford. More than 1,500 students have participated in that program and every one of them tells us it was a life-changing event. While much has changed in business over the past century, one thing hasn't. The need to educate future business leaders who can excel in the ever-changing global marketplace. The College of Business is an exceptional place because of our exceptional people, like you. The accomplishments of our students, our alumni, and our faculty over the last hundred years attest to a unique, invaluable business education experience, and it is something to truly celebrate. Wow, 100 years? That's, that's incredible. And uh, happy anniversary, CBA. Happy 100th anniversary, CBA. It's a great time to be part of the UNL College of Business Administration, and one of our biggest achievements is yet to come, and that's our new CBA building. It's now being designed by Robert Stern Architects of New York City. They've teamed up with Ali Poignier from Omaha, and together they're designing a building that's going to be truly transformational for our college. Construction should be completed in 2017. I thank you for your continued support and encourage you to engage and be part of our CBA community. There's a lot more to do, and I hope you will continue to help us start something at CBA.